Welcome to Parkway Partners Training Portal. This short demonstration will show you how to gain skills from the training courses, following them step by step. It is best if you have another tab window open, so you can be following the demo tutorial. You will see there are a select number of courses for you to choose from. To access these courses you will have to register with us, and following registration you will be enrolled for a course by the tutor who will evaluate your request. Some of the causes allow you to take the training course logged in as a guest. As shown. OK. Now you are logged in. As shown. You are now ready to proceed with the online training class. So scroll down to choose from one of the available training courses. For this demo, we are going to take the course Basic Computer Training. So click on it. Intro Basic Computer Course This is a short primer course that gives all trainees sufficient knowledge to use computers for basic tasks, their purpose, and basic operations of a computer. We will briefly focus on the 1. Types 2. Parts 3. The Economic Importance and Uses for Examples 5. An exercise to ensure understanding and retention of accurate knowledge for future use. What is a computer? A computer is a device programmed to enable us control, manage and perform tasks electronically and much more efficiently. Almost everything these days is controlled by computer. It just makes life a lot easier, giving results at the speed of electricity and relying on normal speed. Types of computers There are basically four types of computers. One mainframe. These types are gigantic computers that coordinate other computers or computer functions. They used to be built into a facility, as part of it and is used in industry, education, government ministries and institutions. Mainframe computers can still be found in some older crude oil refineries, television flash radio flash newspaper media houses, universities and institutions of the like. In the 21st century, these aforementioned places no longer use mainframe computer systems to control other computers or computations. This is because the model engineering of computers has changed such that they are now broken up into parts, using agreed frameworks. The following images show a mainframe computer, which you can compare to the next image of a client-slash-server model computer. 2. Desktop Computers these are the usual computers we see nowadays. The LCD screen is usually desk mounted, but it can also be wall mounted. A wired keyboard is used to type information, that is shown on the screen, and the information is processed by the central processing unit CPU. This CPU consists of many parts, but it's also known by its chief parts i.e. hard disk and or server. Compare the desktop computer image with the mainframe computer carefully, because the desktop computer has and can do by design everything the mainframe computer can do, except it can be restricted by the size of some computer parts, that I will go into shortly. 3. Laptops and Notebooks These are essentially mobile desktops that combines all the components of the desktop computer into a smaller portable all-in-one piece laptop. They are different sizes of laptops and they are usually graded by screen size in inches for example 15.4 inch. Please see figure 3. For PDA, smartphones and wristwatches, computers are now built into all devices, to make them more useful and add competitive benefits to customers. Hence a Blackberry, an Ethony, and IPAD and IPOD are really computers built into to work with audiovisual devices. 5. Computerized gadgets. These are computers built into industry, such that it becomes programmable, such as factories, robotics, auto cars, microwaves, plasma HDTV, etc. Parts as mentioned earlier. The first computers were mainframe computers, but computers have now got much smaller primarily because of the increased agreements in frameworks and protocols, which allows the mainframe functionalities to be broken up into component parts. 
there are two main components of a computer and the diagram illustrates the information described below. 1. Hardware aid. The computer screen is the presentation viewable part where results are shown back to you. After you type some information, you're given it an instruction. BCPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is the main control center of the computer, where the information is processed. It is also called the server machine, or the hard disk because it houses all the software information, pre-installed and to be installed. In addition the CPU houses the memory chip, the network ports, the connections to the screen and keyboard, the modem and networks to name just a few. See accessories, these consist of the battery, cables, power cords and all other extra hardware add-ons that can be bought such as webcam. 2. Software, consists of computer code, which is used to instruct the computer what to do i.e. program the computer. It is mainly divided into the client software and the server software programs. 8. To keep it really simple, the client software is what is programmed to work on the user's computer including what they see on their screen for example Facebook and Google screens on your browser. The browser is a typical example of client software. The once again to keep it simple, the server software is what is programmed to work on the service provider's computer, and what is not seen on screen. All internet hosts use server software to process the information sent from users' client browsers, such as Facebook and Google. The following diagram gives an illustration of hardware in a computer. 1. The computer is made of hardware, software, and wetware. True or false 2. The BlackBerry is a the computer B hardware C not the computer D software 3. As shown in, in the flow chart. Now take the comprehensive test on how much of the information you have learned and retained about basic computing. At the end, you will be graded so you can measure how well you are doing.